The crossfades button opens the crossfades window. And here, we can set individual parameter crossfade times on a channel-by-channel -channel basis. Then, when a snapshot is fired, the settings morph over the crossfade time. These time values can be set differently for each snapshot and set the speed at which the crossfade occurs when that snapshot is fired. For example, if you want the faders to take two seconds to reach the correct position when moving from snapshot one to snapshot two, you would enter a crossfade time of two seconds for the faders in snapshot two. The recall times function sets two time-related parameters. The first column, duration, is how long a snapshot lasts before the next snapshot is automatically fired. Using this function, you can program an exact timed sequence of parameter changes. Touch the duration field, then enter values using the time parameters at the bottom of the panel. Fractional second values can be set in either frames or as a decimal value. When you fire a snapshot that has a specific duration programmed, a progress bar in the main snapshots window indicates how long before the next snapshot is automatically fired. If you want to stop countdown, touching the duration active button will pause the progress bar and halt the automatic firing of the next snapshot. Pressing the duration active button again restarts the countdown to firing the next snapshot.